What's up, y'all? My name is Ian Edwards, and welcome to the Soccer Comic Rant. And, uh, you know, we're on All Things Comedy. Go to allthingscomedy.com. We're on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Lipson, and podcast is also available for your visual viewing pleasure at uh, Ian Edwards on YouTube or Ian Soccer Comic Rant Edwards. So if you're feeling like it, subscribe. Tell people to subscribe. It's up to you. I'm not uh, forcing you, but some people really look like the way I look, so check that out. And some people hate liking the way I look, and they subscribe for that reason, so check it out. But uh, also, my sponsor is onthevolleyapparel.com, and they have tank tops, hoodies, T-shirts, sweatshirts for males and females. And you go to the website and use a promo code, Comic Rant, and there's an example of some of the gear that they got up there, and I got on one of the shirts too. There's the Wu Tang shirt. There's a shirt I got on a striker. Go and you can go back to the thing, and then you can outfit your local team. And there's the Tribe Called Quest joint. I think they got a Moon joint. Let me see. Oh, let me see that next to the yeah game called Football Game Jersey. So go there. Hook yourself up. They got bibs, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Oh, look at that that burgundy joint was nice. And then the owl. Oh, I, I want to get that. I want to get those too. The Drake. The well, I have a Drake, but not like that. Like, see the thing on there on the neck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I like that. So I'm gonna ask Elvis for one of those. And they got the the NASA joints. The striker one that I got on. So, you know, go there, check it out, use my promo code Comic Rant, and uh, hook yourself up, hook your team up. It's a local business in California. Boy Elvis doing his thing. Got the run DMC. So, boom. Oh, go back down, go down. See those strike? Uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, I like the blue one, too. I have the blue one. I haven't worn it in a while. So, yeah, go to onthevolleyapparel.com. Boom. And uh, I got two guests today. I know for sure one of them is a Spurs fan. <laughs> and I think the other one is a Spurs fan. So there's a resident. Uh, he's normally on the show. Uh, Spurs fan, journalist uh, for 442 Magazine, uh, Martin W. Harris. What's up, Martin? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a rare occasion to have two Spurs fans after the Spurs lose another game. <laughs> That's very and, cruel. And, and Xavier <laughs> is another Spurs fan. His dad brought him into the losing game. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I was like, why do one Spurs fan? Like, you guys can cry on each other's shoulders. Yeah. You know? And then we, I guess Spurs is the first game up because we're going to go from the top of the table. And Liverpool's at the top of the table right now with a one-game advantage. And they played you guys. And not only did Spurs lose, to add insult to injury, Arsenal won and leaped ahead of you in the table and uh, st stamping their studs on your dirty jerseys that are beneath them right now. So how do you feel about your loss, the game, and who wants to go first, and who wants to start bashing Lloris first? How do you want to do this, Martin or Xavier? Okay. Um, okay. The the first thing you know that the uh, Arsenal leapfrogged both uh, both us and you guys. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> you're fifth now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fifth we're, now. we're fifth, but uh, we caught up to you. Uh, yeah. And no, you will I, tomorrow probably. I, I, we caught up to you, yeah. and that's all I wanted to do. I, yeah. I wanted to get the amount of points that you had. We didn't. We were behind you. Boom. Now we're even. So yeah. even though it, we we still made progress this weekend, you guys didn't, and. We haven't Arsenal made any the, progress. Oh, yeah. I have this thing. Let me show it to you. Okay. Somebody just sent this to me right before the show. It's perfect timing. My homeboy Lloyd, who's a Villa fan. Oh, the Villa fan. Okay. Yeah. They're looking better this season. They, they have a chance they're, to They're in progress. the playoffs now. They're in the championship playoffs. They have playoffs. a chance, yeah. They're in fifth place. So yeah. They, 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 they might. Where is it? He just sent me this thing. Who sent it? Or maybe somebody did on Instagram. I got people who just people everywhere. Sending you got shit. people everywhere sending me shit. Where the fuck? Now my Instagram won't won't work in this room. Is it talking shit? 
No, it's talking facts. It's uh. facts fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're not good facts if you're a Spurs fan. But you guys tell me how you feel about the game. And now this thing will reload it. And I'll, you know, I'll show it to you. So you were they saying no something. service here, but um, <laughs> it was salty, salty loss. At the end, it was horrible, as you could tell. He was in a drought, so I don't know if we consider it like a goal on him. It was, it was like an auto goal. Uh huh. But I mean, I'm sure he's stoked that he was part of it. Salah. But he's been a part of other goals, and they haven't given him credit for it. Yeah, I agree. That's what we were saying last that's time. What that we're he saying doesn't last have time. to score he every fucking time. Right. But as you can tell, he. I know you. They don't give it to him because it was an auto goal. But he. It was because of him. It was because of him. You can't say anything else. And mm. I, and I, one of the goals in the other game that Mane scored, it was because of him because he mm. took the shot. The keeper. <laughs> another thing, the keeper did not hold his shot. And oh, just like this one. And the like keeper this, just fucked like this up one, again. The keeper fucked up again. And then Mane got no, was going to take the shot. And the keeper brought Mane down on that occasion. In this occasion, he headed the ball. Keeper should have held on to the ball. Just like NFL rules. If the receiver catches the ball, doesn't matter how bad the quarterback threw it, how too hard he threw it, you're supposed to hold on to it. If it's between the numbers, you got to hold it. Keeper had the ball in his hand. Lloris, in this case, didn't hold on to it. Bounced off on, was it Aldo? Was it Aldo Wild? Who's the guy? Aldo Wild. Right Aldo Wild. He couldn't do anything. He about couldn't it. do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. Now, well, listen. You know, like I, I don't see much of a Salah in it. I see you see 99.9 percent of uh, of Loris, unfortunately. You know, and um, and that's not the first time this season he actually he's actually uh, having blunder after blunder, and uh, really reg regress. Uh, really, after winning the World Cup with France, it looks like he just uh, stopped trying. I don't know. It's it's a very bad season for him, and it's for the first time in in a long time, because he used to be one of the best keepers in the world, the cap the captain of the of the French team, and 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 one of the stalwarts of Tottenham for years, and before that for Lyon. Uh, right now, for the first time in a, in in a, in his life and his career, his question is uh, if if that's the guy to go forward with, you know. A, and uh, Spurs fans are calling for a change. And the pundits are calling for a change. I think Jermaine Jenas on Match of the Day said that, former Spurs player. Jermaine Jenas. Yeah, and, uh, and, and he's right. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of those, we are on, the, on a really bad streak of five games without a win and four losses in five. Uh, and a lot of that has, uh, has to do with, with Loris. Oh, yeah. What about the one with Trippier? Was that Loris's or four uh, He's my least favorite player on the team, so yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. To who? The three periods also the, the exchangeable, and, yeah. And so, so that's the thing. Like you, you come down hard on Salah for not scoring, right? You have in the past. We have record of it. And I, <laughs> I'm, and you know, Harry Kane has scored four out of the last five. He didn't score mm -hmm. this week, but he did create. Oh, the, that was that was a, all him. A third yeah. party assist, mm -hmm. and it's like, but they've lost. Yeah. So it's like Liverpool has won or at least got on a point I know from Salah this. not scoring. So it's like everybody, all these journalists and these pundits are coming down on this one guy for not scoring. But how much does scoring really matter? No, they're coming down on Lloris for his mistake. No, no, no. Much. We're talking about something else now. I'm, I'm going back to Liverpool mm -hmm. when Basically everybody's shitting on Salah for yeah. not scoring. And they've, Liverpool has gotten results without him scoring. Mm -hmm. Kane on the hand has been scoring and Spurs has lost. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, they have. So it's like, like, what do they think of that? I want to hear what do they think of that. Here's, he, yeah. here I, I see where you're coming from. Several problems that mm -hmm. I have with the, with the Tottenham team and why I was very critical of them even before that. This is not answering my yeah. question, though. This is <laughs> no, no, telling no, no, me no, 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 that I'm you want to tell to build me. It, I'm just trying to build it up to, to, to give you an answer. So, okay. so, so mm -hmm. Kane, yeah, he scored, but he's not the same player since coming back from injury, which I think he came a little bit too fast. And I... Even if the numbers and and the facts in in terms of goals or great passes are showing that he's pretty much on his on his normal pace of scoring or or getting you know pr production for the team, he's not running the same. He's not c creating as much problems for the defenders as he normally was. Are you kidding me? He can take illegal illegal free kicks perfectly. Okay. For the way the ball was rolling, <laughs> <laughs> he's um, he, he never did that as good before the injury. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, he's 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 not the same. Uh, he's still very good, but he's not the same. And it's not j only him. Uh, there are a couple of other players who, unfortunately, are not 100%. And and Eriksson is not having a great season. Uh, Dele Ali, that's a problem. That's a problem. So you want to get? So it, maybe it's just not Loris. Because maybe if you yeah. guys had scored more goals... Like Eriksen could have finished. Sissoko should have scored for 2-1. He should have scored a oh, goal. So that thing... He should have scored it. I mean, he had a great game, except for that moment. But at that moment, in that game, when... He, first of all, I don't think he's a left-footed player. This guy. Virgil van Dijk, I don't think they can see it. He was the hero. Yes or no. Yes or no. It's, it's, it's down to Sissoko's scoring IQ like I think Sissoko has a great defense he's a great box-to-box -box defender he's a great passer but he doesn't have any history of a, being a finisher and he actually dribbled towards Van Dyke and made that job when it was just two on one easier for Van Dyke and I guess it was kind of the right thing to do if you had a left foot that you could curve the ball around the keeper and finish with but that Finish was horrendous, and when he missed, I was like, I think Liverpool's going to win this, this game. And it was tied at that point. But it's just one of those moments when you're like, oh, that was a clear opportunity to put this away and win. And now that it's, it's gone, it's going to be one of those games where they're going to regret that miss. He, here's what I think about the situation. I think it was more Van Dijk than Sissaka, actually. Um, first of all, Sissaka, yeah, of course, naturally he's not a great finisher. He, he had, I think, one pretty good season as a young player for, for Juventus when he, he was a threat. But, but ever since he's... So you're saying runner, he's not a good finisher? He's not a very good finisher. Exactly. But here's what Van Dijk did and, and why he's a, such a great defender, not only because he moves so well with his height and he, he's so fantastic in the air, but he made a decision. So they were going two on one. And there was Son on the right and Sissoko on the left. So he made the move towards Son instead of towards Sissoko, knowing that Sissoko has a ball on his left, uh, left, not the right leg, and he's not very good with, he's much worse with the left and the right. So he let him have an open shot with the left instead of taking a chance of being, uh, of uh, him playing the ball to Son, where Son is deadly one on one. So he made a very intelligent, smart, last-second last decision that won the game for Liverpool. Well, it was a several-drivel decision, and I think I still say I'm going to give Van Dyke some credit, but I still think Sissoko kind of helped Van Dyke make that decision by the way he was dribbling. He had the whole field, and if you watch that dribble, he dribbled towards Van Dyke, making it so easy for Van Dyke to say, I'm just going to cut this pass off. Yeah. And now this guy has to get past me. He didn't want he, to shoot. He, he, but he could have still brought him a more away. Like, why are you dribbling? Like, your son, your Van Dyke, and I'm dribbling towards you. I need to go this way to make you feel wary of what's going on back here. And, and, but because son is close to you, and I'm bringing Sun close to you, I can still feel you. You know, there's more, there's, the space is so short. And it's just, it was just, Sissoko's not a finisher. You think Sun wouldn't finish? Oh, Sun would have, hell fresh, yeah. right? He was fresh, because he, yeah, he, he was on the bench, right? On the right, right off? Yeah, Sun would have. Yeah. With the right? Yeah, Sun would have, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, but Game still, over. Sissoko started that whole move, and I think he's having a great season for you guys, but. Yeah, no, he's having a great season, and, and, and but that wha one more time, I give it to Van Dijk. He read him perfectly. He didn't want to shoot. He wanted to pass the ball to Son. That's, that was his intention throughout. And, and then he had the ball on his weaker, weaker feet, and he wasn't confident shooting. It was not a confident shot. <laughs> it's what Van Dijk, I think he's the best defender in the world right now. I, I, I like Van Dijk, but I, I, I think people are really overrating him. I think Liverpool on the whole has become a better defensive team. And for some reason, they're giving all the credit to Van Dyke. I don't, I don't get that. But before we move, I can't find a thing, but my friend sent me this stat. So after 26 games, I think Arsenal had 43 points, right? At, and Spurs had 61 or 60 points. And after... 
32 games, Arsenal has 61 points, and Spurs still has 60. No, 63 and 61, yeah. 63 and 61. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Well, it's crazy well, what happens if you get one point out of 15, you know, and uh, and then... Jesus but I wanna, Christ, oh, it sounds <laughs> so bad. <laughs> but I wanna, Let's I just stay here for a minute. You would say that again? One point out of 15? Yeah, one out of 15, yeah. This Before that, we, I had a thought we might have had a chance for the title. Remember we were talking about yeah. this? It was like, it was close. Now it's, especially the way they're going at it. <laughs> I mean, bruh. One point. We'll win the Champions League instead. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is this is the guy, Pochettino. Like, even if Solskjaer was doing a shitty job, we wouldn't even have to worry about getting Pochettino as a coach. Yeah, but you know, it's <laughs> just it's just bad circumstances. You know, yeah, of course, some players are underperforming, and I think this team is this team is a little bit burned out and needs changes. Burned out uh, it from needs what? Some changes. From playing in the same league that everybody else is playing. No, in? sometimes if you stay with the same squad, you know, for a little bit too long, you don't w and you don't win trophies. You need to make some changes, and I think they'll make changes uh, you added this Lucas, summer. You added Lucas Mora. Ah, he's and been you a while. He's, uh, he's been there for a while. No, this is his actually first full season. He came halfway through last year. Yeah, so so still, I mean, it's his second season. Sissoko's like a new new player. <laughs> yeah, you can keep he reinventing players, but you got one Yama. <laughs> he, he was the, he was there for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's Yama, playing. Yeah, yeah. Three players there for a while. All of them are for a while. But I'm I mean more like the guys who were the core of the team that almost won the title twice. So so like Ericsson that almost Ali. won the title. <laughs> almost won the title. <laughs> yeah. With the number of points they had in the in the season, they finished yeah. behind. Ch Ch Chelsea, they sh should have won in many other years, you know, but it's just, you know, it wasn't there, wasn't, wasn't meant to be. Still, I think... You know that's not how football math works. So I know. You don't I know, just I know. aggregate everything but from you know two seasons. But you know that two seasons <laughs> combined, they were by far the best team in the, in the league, if you combine two seasons. Not if you don't <laughs> win. <laughs> it's too bad that's not how... It's too bad they don't give out the premiership title every two years. Exactly. Yeah. You're exactly. <laughs> to work out in benefit of Spurs. Yeah. That's not how it works, bro. Yeah. <laughs> or if they have like the winter like in Russia, winter and and and, and right. fall. Yeah. How how did you feel the moment Salah headed that ball to the moment it trickled across the line? I f I thought it, you know, I said it on podcast a week ago it will be 1-1. One, one. That was I remember I said it. I yeah. think that the game will end 1-1 one, one and it it looked like it will end 1-1 one, one, even if Sissoka could have uh, or Son could have scored a winning goal. And they were actually better in the second half than Liverpool. And Liverpool was much better in the first half. And I want to mention one more player who I think. Am I actually, you don't answer questions well. I said, how <laughs> did you feel? Uh, when yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, <laughs> why not? You know, if, if things are going wrong, things are going wrong. And what about Just you? Fuck it. It sucked. It sucked. That shit fucking sucked. Yeah, okay, good. See some real yeah, emotions fuck. over here. Fucking Eastern <laughs> European I with mean, no feelings. Listen, you know, or like trying to be logical about five it. Five games without win, you know, what do you expect? If, I don't if know. It, if it was to, to be hopeful that okay. this could be a point and then to, to have it ripped away from you in such a comical matter. I will tell you this. Three years ago when there was one game when they were chasing Leicester and and uh, they conceded a late goal against West Bromwich in the like 89th minute, that I was furious, you know. <laughs> but with the way this team is playing, I knew that they will go on a bad streak eventually. They were w punching way above their weight in terms of results because they want to play good football. I think you guys have a better team than Man U. No. Th tell me who on Man U you would take in the positions over members. In current of form? Yeah. In current yeah. form? Yeah. Almost everybody. Like who? I would take Rashford uh, for sure. <laughs> I would over take Pogba. Who? Over who? So that means over... Oh. Over, over uh, I mean, he would be playing like a supporting guy to Kane. So he over. No, over no, 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 no. He w w position for position, bro. You can't just. Yeah, but Rashford is. He can play on the wing. He no, can I'm, play also. I'm, t I'm telling you where he's playing for us. He's playing center forward. He's playing up our middle. I would pair him up with Kane. Yeah. No, you can't. You, it's like no, no. <laughs> because because you, you can't. The line of you, 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 he's like I'm a better version of Ali. Uh, He's right not, now. but it's, that's not where he's playing. But that's where he would be playing. No, no because <laughs> because w then then where would Pogba play? You know, because Pogba, Pogba would play an Ericsson <laughs> role, right? So yeah. then, so then now you're doing it right. Now you're doing it right. But you, it's either Rashford or Kane. Kane. It's either Marshall or whoever else is playing I'll, there for I'll you. I'll take Marshall. Yeah. Over for who? For. Uh, 
No, don't give me some other guy's for position. Deli Alley. For Deli Alley. That's not where he, Deli Alley plays. Don't play out wide. But we play a different system, so it's, it's hard <laughs> to compare, like, <laughs> position to position. Yeah, he would play as, as pretty much as Deli Alley's position, yeah. What, behind? Uh, you think Marshall will play good out there? A guy that's we, like we, a wide we pl player? We played fullbacks uh, going out wide and, and, and three guys in the middle of defense and then two defensive midfielders. So it's hard. To w you, you have to wait. You're not going to play him as a, as a left back, Marshall. You have yeah. to play him behind Kane. So you don't have anybody that bombs down? Like any, More any, any wide guy? Lucas and, and, and but they play from the center out wide. So then he'd replace Lucas then? Lucas and Ali, yes. Ali plays behind, but they Kane. change positions throughout the game all the time. They go back and forth, so yeah, it's a, it's a completely different style, like pl yeah. player, player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I, listen, Spurs. I don't know what is it is. I don't think I don't I don't. It's almost like you have the British national team mentality in your locker room, like before the last World Cup. Yeah, before but we grew time, mentally. Listen. I was about to say, they're doing really good. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. At yeah. The same before time, the yeah. last one. During the quarterfinals yeah. of the Champions League, they're moving to a new stadium. I mean, you listen, you know. Like what do you think of the new stadium? You it's a great stadium. Have you seen it online? I'll check it out right now. Yeah. It's a great stadium, man, and, and hopefully that will end the skid. Uh, hopefully now there will be some money to spend for players, and they can make some money by selling players. Here, you know, here's an issue. I have to talk about Deli Ali for a second, because... When he came through as a 19-year-old, mm -hmm. I don't think he's dealing with, uh, very well with the pressure. And there were things happening in the last couple of years, you know, like the not good Euro campaign. He wasn't spectacular in the World Cup, and uh, and he had this online video <coughs> um, uh, scandal. What was the online video scandal? Uh, it's like amateur porn video, like two years ago. Yeah. Or a video of him having sex with a girl? Yeah, but like really embarrassing one. Why, wow, he uh, finished in two yeah. seconds? With I don't want to talk about it. It's pretty <laughs> disgusting. But um, you've talked about death yeah. on the show. Like, w w just tell me what happened in the video. No, it's did you see disgusting. the video? I haven't seen the video. No, just check it out. No, no. just we're on a podcast. This is what yeah, it's I mean, for. It's his private life. I don't want to uh, interfere. You just with it. brought you you brought it to no, everybody's just that there was attention. A backlash Nobody knew about because it. there was a backlash. You know, so 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 some things happened. Listen, don't, I'm not. Uh, you're at acting like I'm asking you to tell me about one of your sexual <laughs> escapades. You're a journalist. You can find the words to explain what happened in the video without going graphic and giving me an idea of what happened and then we can make jokes about it. What the fuck do you think this is, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus Let's talk Christ. football then. How Let's talk I football. <laughs> uh, this so is football. What happened in the video? I don't know. I forgot. And, uh, and uh <laughs> is, this, is this happening? Yeah. Is this, is this happening? What video? Are you no. a comic, right? <laughs> what video? I just <laughs> Was there a video? Oh, okay. Oh. I'll what check it out. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh. Man, it must have been that no, embarrassing. Here, here's, here's the thing about Deli was you Were you in the video? No, I'm not in the video. <laughs> was, it your, <laughs> was it your girl in the video? What the fuck what just happened? Here's the thing with, with Deli Ali. When he was 19, you could, you could see uh, where he can end up as a player. You, you know, and, and right now he's moving into James Milner territory, not into Kylian Mbappe, you know, Ronaldo Messi territory. When you're 19 and you're the next prodigy, you are being compared to, you can finish as one of the greats, or you can finish as a I remember, good player. I remember as when, a good player. I remember when he was 19, over 19 and you were overrating him. And I was like, Everybody yeah. was. No, I wasn't. And I was like, you, you should. No, just rating him highly. Yeah. It's hard to say with 19 year old. I'm saying you overrated him. And you were like, I was like, and you would like, you'd say on the podcast, best player in the world. You would say stuff yeah, like that. But that was, <laughs> <laughs> those, those, those were my drinking days. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> No, but uh, but he's still a very good player. But it just he just doesn't make that leap into into a stratosphere. Pretty much, uh, he he's not he he didn't make that much of a progress. And I would say even slightly regress this season. So uh, so so. Uh, we, we, we gotta and keep. that makes a big difference because in those runs when we were second in the table twice, he was an absolutely fantastic player. Fantastic well, player, scoring goals well, in the last fourth. minutes. Yeah. And and the league is also tougher now. And, and and I don't think anybody's taking that into account. The league is also tougher now. Like one of the se the season you came second, you and Leicester finished ahead of Man City, Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Chelsea. They weren't even you know what I'm saying? You guys finished no, you finished behind Arsenal. 
in the the that, that on year. the very last day uh, yeah, on the very season, last yeah. day but then we finished second next year yeah. finished next. so it's like hey man those teams are back they got new coaches they rejuvenated man city's got their shit together austin wenger's austin wenger's gone we just got soul scar and we spotted you guys a big lead at the beginning of the season and now normality is coming back and you guys are a part of normality now now you're a part of the top you know and it took chelsea chelsea before they got Mourinho the first time they were hovering around where you guys were hovering around they couldn't get over the hump so maybe you guys need the new Mourinho because Ranieri would get them was in the semifinals of the champions league and almost won the league and then they fired him for Mourinho, and then Mourinho came in and then won the whole thing, you know, the, the, won the league. So Listen, we're as still much as as much, I don't I don't think Pochettino has. He might be Ranieri. No, I think I in, think, this, listen, in the Ranieri, early part of Ranieri's Ranieri will career. be will be fired for the second time during this season soon because Roma lost one to four in Serie A and, and he was fired already from Fulham. So let's let's leave Ranieri uh, as a, as a fu- on, on a funny side note. Uh, they're still selling his bobbleheads just now for fifty percent off on the website of Fulham. Somebody just posted a photo like a year, uh, two days ago. <laughs> they're still selling you know Ranieri's be funny? bobbleheads. You know, it'd be funny. <laughs> If you could describe the Deli Alley video, that would be fun. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> All no. right, so let's move on. No, no, but let me just no, say no, no, we, the we, last thing about Pochettino. Uh, the, the very last thing. Uh, I, I'm still confident. I this think, is I three, think two last things ago. The, the very last thing. Still confident. They're still in the Champions League. There need to be some slight personal changes and we'll be fine this summer. And that's it. Can't believe you went back just to say that. You got anything <laughs> to say? Uh, same thing. Same All we got is Champions League other than that. All right. This is pretty much over uh, <laughs> for this man <laughs> you're down we'll true, win it we'll down win one, one point out right. of 15. all right so we're not going to talk much about man city they handled their business against fulham they scored two goals early they gave up the game fulham gave, gave up th- the game. yeah it's like if the if fulham doesn't make mistakes man city might not score yeah they would have left the zero and they they need the points fulham's yeah. all the way at the bottom and they're generous they were in a given mood, and they were like, here, Man City, yep. we hear you like nice passes in <laughs> our goal area. Here you go. Let's see what yeah. you can do with them. Two of them. Nice burn, Alice Hill. Yeah. Let's give it up again. Nice yeah. to Sergio Aguero. Let's see what he can do. And then, <laughs> Yeah, so. And then Arsenal, they played. Who did Arsenal play? Newcastle. Newcastle. Was this the offside goal game? No, no, that was Chelsea. No, that was Chelsea. Oh, that was that Chelsea. Was Chelsea. Oh, was Chelsea. All right, so yeah. He was fucking pissed. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm trying to remember this game because I watched it today. And Arsenal, yeah. Pretty easy win for Arsenal. They're playing good football at home. I think they won the last 10 games. Yeah, they won the last 10 games at home. And Arsenal on the low, like, I've been, like, in the Man U bubble of Solskjaer doing an amazing job that I didn't realize how many wins in a row that Arsenal had been sneaking in and now they're in third place and I think they're more likely to to stay in third and the real fight is just for fourth place because we lost to them and that was you know today made me realize I realized a few weeks ago when we lost to them how valuable that loss was but it, it's really valuable now if we'd have got at least gotten a point we'd be in fourth by ourselves at least in fourth by ourselves but yeah fucking Arsenal man and Emery and nobody's calling to fire him anymore as they were and all the tough games for Arsenal are over like they, they don't have to pay anybody in the top five or top six anymore like they, they their schedule was a part of the reason why their results were the way they were is because they the first two games one was against Man City and Chelsea and then they had to play a lot of the heavy hitters early throughout the season but it's all over now it's like all teams that they can beat every game they play is against a team that they're ahead of in the table so they have a better chance of remaining third unless they fuck up royally yeah, yeah and, and and ramsey and ramsey is, is uh, scored a goal he's um leaving arsenal he's yeah. joining uh, juventus on a record fee yeah he's yeah. G- he's over there getting juventus excited yeah. the way he played he could have had two yeah one of them was an offside but he could have had two of them yeah 
He played it really good. It wasn't an offside. It was like somebody was pulling. Oh yeah, it was a weak. Was it, a, it was a weak uh, short pull. You're right. But you're I, right. But I. But I. I could see where you could kind of call that. Yeah. No. Because that guy might have been able to get to the ball. Yeah. So I get it. But he. He definitely. You know. Showed his. Showed his worth, and it's yeah, like. And he's and like. He's like. He's like. He's like excited. Like. He's getting ready for his wedding day over at Juventus, and he's he wants them to play him, and he's like balling. Yeah. yeah, I would think not that people would do that, but you know how sometimes you're leaving, you're like, I don't give a fuck, fuck it. No, he looked like he he was still in the game. Yeah, I always you know liked I mean? him. Yeah. He's got yeah. heart. Yeah, yeah, he got, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. has heart. He's in there for the game. Yeah, he's Shit. good. What do you think about Ozil? As as uh, as I mentioned last time, you know, when I when I talked to Lukas Podolski, he just mm. said it. You know, well, if you have Ozil, you always you always have uh, this. Uh, extra player that can change the game with his vision and his, his uh, <laughs> on, on, on ball skills, abilities. And you also have this extra player that might just take a seat during the game and watch it he happen might, around him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to always motivate those type of players. You know, that's, yeah. the, that's the problem. But if, if they're motivated, if they're ready, if they're on, on, on board, then they will... You know, the same with Pogba under Mourinho. He wasn't that motivated, and then he was motivated. You know, yeah, so, but, so. <laughs> but that's a different thing. Yeah, yeah, but that's also par partial, partially he, he wasn't like really killing himself for Mourinho. Like same nah, same with, you know, as as you can also nah, that's, sometimes. That's, that's called being played out of position and some your boss being an asshole to you. And it's like that's an, it's almost impossible uh, to 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 be what you are. When when the person preventing you from playing as good as you can be is your coach. That's the that's the person who can stop you from playing the best you can play the most, the ultimate person you coach. So then the result of what you saw was Mourinho's defense, great de off the field defense of Pogba and helping other teams. So I think it's a different, like Ozil, they want more from Ozil. You know, as if we need you to do stuff when you don't have the ball, you know? You know and I guess he is, but I, do you think Unai is a genius? Because he took a lot of heat for it and they're like you, you know, and but he's managed it. He's he's putting him in some games, but is it also an insult to play Ozil in a Newcastle game, but not like in a game against a Man U or Spurs or a, like a top team? Like does does Ozil feel like I'm a part of this, or you know, if your coach is only giving you like the easy the, shit. the easier team games, and you're a player? And you've won a World Cup. Even though you're playing, do you feel insulted? It fucks with their morale. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he put him in against Newcastle. <laughs> Not great. Nope. Yeah. But which they is need a, to win, but. Yeah, which is a good transition to your team. Okay. <laughs> because That's big things happen this week for, for your team. Well. Are you happy, Ian? Are you happy? About Man U? About the Ola being being uh, being the man, being name. the guy. Yeah, I'm happy because I, I was like, hey, you have to give him the job. And you have to give him the job so that he can show you that he deserves it or that he doesn't deserve it. And the only way to find that out is to give him the job. So I'm willing to enjoy this ride of seeing if Ollie deserves this job. And we played... We didn't play great, but we won anyway. And uh, I was telling you last week that we might rest Pogba. And that was just me saying that because he played two international games. And he didn't have a good game, and he looked tired. You know what I mean? And he looked like frustrated Pogba. And it's like, he played great for France, and he played two games, and then you come right back into another game, and then you got another game tomorrow. It's like... Pogba was definitely tired. That's why I'm going to jump a little bit to the Chelsea game where everybody attacked Sarri for not starting Hazard. And I'm like, these players are tired. You know what I mean? These players are, and, and he put in Hazard in the second half, and when they were down, when players, when the audiences, the fans were cheering for him to be fired. And it's like, hey, man, you can give a player a game off, half a game off, and put him in so that he can inject some energy and do more than he would do for you in that half than he would if he started the whole game. Everybody's acting like it's a foreign concept 
when Sari did not start Hazard. Like the pundits, every, I can't believe he didn't start him. Like, you've never seen that shit before? Like, did you see Pogba play on fucking Saturday? It didn't look like it was Paul Pogba. It looked like I was checking the sidelines to see if Mourinho was coaching. <laughs> you know, another coach, uh, another uh, former coach came to got some headlines last week. Louis Van Hal, Louis Van Hal saying that uh, uh, Oleg Gunnar Solskjaer's United are playing boring football. That uh, it's unwatchable. Did he say boring, or he said defensive, like he, he said defensive, like Mourinho? Right? No, he, he said like more defensive, pretty much. That it's not the part of the culture of what this club is. He's there are some games when it happens, but most of the games it doesn't happen. And it all is opponent based. And I wish we'd have had played defensive against Wolves, because then we would have beat them. Oh, you play them tomorrow? Well, we, we played them in the FA Cup quarterfinals. I wish yeah. we had played defensive, because they wouldn't have been expecting that. And then we were trying to attack them. They sat back on us, and they sprung on us. And, and uh, so he, Van Gaal is kind of bitter. Like anytime a coach says, or ex coach says, I won the FA Cup. It's the biggest achievement of my life because I, because I won it with a noose around my neck. Meaning he was feeling pressure. He felt like reporters were kicking him in the ribs while he was down and shitting on him. Yeah. So that guy is making statements now. It, he's not completely healed. For and he also talked about how, you know, he's coaching the team and he's listening to them, like literally making calls to Mourinho while he's the coach. And he also said, I told him I only wanted the job for two years, I think. And he said, no, we need you to sign a three-year contract. And then he said, all right. So they forced him into that. And then they fired him from the third year. And he's like, he's like, I told you I only wanted to do two. And then they tried to flip it on him and say, well, you said you only wanted to do two, but you made me sign a three. And I look like a fucking, you're, you're, you're hurting my legacy by firing me yeah, and you're and looking and for and another coach. So, yeah. So it's like, it's like, he, he's not, listen, that's a jilted lover talking. <laughs> Here, here's, here's the thing that it's kind of interesting and that shows also why, why those both uh, decisions were not perfect with hiring first Van Halen and second Mourinho. Like th th both of those coaches have amazing legacies. They were just past their prime. Like Van Hal revolutionized football with, with his Ajax teams in the in the mid nineties, late nineties, and then Barcelona. He was fantastic. He was the best manager. So in you're the saying world. we're perfect at hiring coaches out of their prime. Out of their prime. <laughs> <laughs> Up until Solskjaer. Uh, who is ahead of his prime <laughs> yeah. probably. We don't know. You Hopefully, know? yeah. Maybe maybe mm -hmm. you know, maybe that's that's the time for him, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, but Van Hal and, and Mourinho were both past their primes, unfortunately. And and yeah, uh, for him you know, being labeled as a guy who revolutionized the game, who won a Champions League with Ajax Amsterdam, with you know, with the yeah. team out of top five leagues, and then he did it. Uh, he did great job at Barcelona as well, and he was always uh, in. Did the he win at Barcelona? He didn't win the Champions League, but he, I think, he won the title. And he had very good teams with. Uh, Clive and him. Clive Ronaldinho. I remember I went to a game once because I interviewed uh, Clive for Playboy in two thousand one. Uh, Rivaldo, I think, was on the team. Rafa the Marquez board. was on there. Who? Yeah. Rafa Marquez was on there. Rafa Marquez. That he was on there for sure. Um, but he also uh, had good. one bad season for sure. He had one bad season. I think that when they finished like third or fourth. Uh, but yeah, but, uh, but but he was definitely one of the greatest managers of his era. And and unfortunately, you know, like at some point when you're past your prime, your and your ego hurts even more. Yeah. Because he was retired. He's hurt, yeah. he was basically retired and they dug him out, right? And now he's retired for good. Like yeah. they, they, they dug him out of retirement and, th and then they bury him into retirement. You know, what, he, you know <laughs> what he's got to do? Enjoy the severance check. Just yeah. enjoy it. You got extra money. Yeah. Just live, baby. And just watch the, watch the tapes from the famous final of 95 uh, mm -hmm. Champions League final when they beat Milan. Yeah. And you're still One of the biggest upsets ever. And you're still Louis Van Hal. Like nobody's stupid. Everybody saw what happened. But you, you again, your team could not attack. But again, you put in Rashford, you know, and now he's gonna if things go according to plan or according to, you know, the way I light my candles and <laughs> set my intentions mm -hmm. every night, he's gonna be a, a United legend. And in as long as Rashford is a success at Man U it's directly linked to
for Van Gaal. So hopefully he'll get over being bitter. Like, I get it. Like, hey, man, sometimes it's the wrong time, wrong place. But, uh, man, Did you, you enjoy the win? I enjoyed the win. I, it, was, it was a counter strike. It was like a counter that, attacks, you know? That Shaw, that Shaw, Luke Shaw, man, that, I watched it before I came up here. And if, first of all, he's fast. This, the tackle was decisive. Yeah, and talking about a guy who was bullied by Mourinho. Yeah. Luke Shaw. Yeah, <laughs> Luke Shaw. And then, I, and then I saw Rashford yeah. running and Rashford point. And then the delivery of that ball was to Rashford in his path was perfection. And Rashford dealing with that ball, the defender on him, and the goalkeeper rushing was just like, this is what this guy's going to be. He's going to be even better than that. And then who missed a lot was Perrier or whatever his name, the guy with the highlights from Watford. His name? Um, he missed a lot. He could have fucking ended your guys' game. Pereira? Yeah, Pereira. There they, we go, they, my bad. Yeah. He, there he's a good player. He's a good, he's a good yeah, player. He's a good player. He, 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 he could have finished a lot. For, he, he had like three, four shots that could have gone in. What was weird for me is at the end of the game when they had a free kick. And oh, why they centered it instead of taking the shot? Yeah, and they should have taken the shot. He could take that shot. And I was like, thank God they did that dumb shit. But I, it's I, how do you not take the shot? Yep. And then, you know, before that Marshall's goal, yeah, we'll take it all. We'll take the win. It's scrappy. <laughs> Didn't look great, but we won. Because it would be terrible to lose three games in a row. And especially when one of those games is after you just named him, you know, Solskjaer interim coach. So. We'll, we'll take it. Let's go down to Chelsea. They're on 60 points. And they fucking luckily get past Fulham. Scott Parker's Fulham. And the first goal they scored. From a Chelsea player, Scott Parker. Yeah. First Won goal. Won titles with him. Won titles with him. And now, you know, his team didn't, didn't stop them. <laughs> Although as as we talked on the way here, I'm mm -hmm. I'm not really really worried about Chelsea too much. I'm I'm more worried about Arsenal and Manu. I'm not I wouldn't say worried, mm -hmm. uh, worried about the Spurs playing bad, but I don't think Chelsea <laughs> will make it to the, into top four. I don't think they're playing good football. I don't think I think hope you're right. Very united as a team. I don't think I don't think this works. So still another, I would say average performance this time. Rewarded with points. Next time it won't be rewarded with points. Uh. What do you think of Loftus, Loftus cheek coming in the game and scoring? Sure, good guy. They should they should uh, try more of those. They have a lot of uh, really talented young players they're not using for some reasons in in recent years. You know, maybe if they would would give them more chances. But he, sorry, was into resting people. So did did David Luiz play internationally this weekend? Or mm -hmm. Alonso? Is it is that why he played them, or is it because he's still stuck on those guys and likes them? I think he likes them. Yeah. He likes them, and then Al and Alonso, like Chelsea fans, hate him this season. Yeah, they do. They hate him. They do, because he is involved in every second goal they concede, pretty much. Yeah, he's, and it's all based on laziness. It's like they should just, like, not even yell at him. Just bring him <laughs> into a room, and he thinks it's like everybody's gonna do film review, and you just play, the lazy plays of David Luiz <laughs> for this season. So that he could be aware of, I, like it's like, hey man, you're drinking too much, but you don't know you're drinking too much. There's a little video. You just show the video. Oh shit, man! I've been. Why didn't you tell me? It's like, why didn't you tell me I was fat? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was fat back then. Why didn't you tell? Why didn't you tell me that girl was the worst girl? She's standing right next you, to you. <laughs> you wouldn't <laughs> listen. He needs to see the video, because I don't think he knows. Yeah, listen, I can't, I can't hate David Luiz. I've heard some great things about him. Uh, like no, we're just talking about playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, you know, of course. Uh, I've, I've heard some great things about him as a person that he's an absolutely amazing teammate and great in the locker room yeah. and everything. But, uh, but, uh, but, but the guy I, I mentioned... The I motherfucker said takes naps in the middle of games. True. But the guy I was actually talking about that the Chelsea fans hate and, and want to drive him to the airport and... like. Sorry. In, no, it's, it's Alonso. Alonso is having an absolutely horrific yeah. season. Horrific season. But David Luiz is probably worse to me. No, Alonso, Alonso. They hate Alonso, Alonso too. Alonso. Yeah. Alonso is breaking their whole defense pretty much because he's always late. He's always late. Because he's been upfield, got to the shop to he, try to score. He tries to score. And he said two years ago, he scored actually two goals against Spurs when, he, when they beat us 2-1. I remember that game. So, so I pretty much hated him ever, ever since. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, now you can enjoy his unsuccessful yeah. season. Yeah, he was an overachiever because he came, I think, from Bolton from from the championship. Uh, he he played like for lower teams, and then he established himself at Chelsea. Was a big surprise, and and he was pretty much like the most improved player of the season. And now he's back into being on the on the on the championship level. Right. Fulham fucked up. Is that that puts him. Fulham fucked up. That puts him three points away from Huddersfield, Huddersfield to just take their spot as a second a second to last you can't let a 90 minute Chelsea scoring on you do that to you I mean but it, they're both like, relegated anyway it's poor Walnut like that's a, that I've never felt any emotion ever for with Neil Walnut Walnut what is it Walnut and the, the, the not the Neil what, what what game uh he no it was the uh, he's the coach of Cardiff when Cardiff you know. yeah so wait a minute so I'm getting confused who so you went, you said Fulham. No, Cardiff. And we're talking about... Cardiff, Chelsea. That Cardiff, was the game Chelsea. Yeah, Cardiff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea. Did I say Fulham, Car Chelsea before? Yeah, no. because you said Scott Parker. No, you said Scott Parker. I said he's a former Chelsea. But we talked... <laughs> so, so, so I made a mistake. So Chelsea... So it was 2-1. Well, Neil Walner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just supposed to help me and clear it up. You don't... <laughs> no, don't said, you you added to player. it. You were, you were like... <laughs> <laughs> you were, you said former Chelsea player, like yeah, I'm right. Meaning and meaning former Spurs player as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but that's what are you what are you doing? Neil Warner is <laughs> the coach. Of, player is the is the is the coach <laughs> of Ch of Cardiff, and, yeah. I, and I'm mixing it up, which is the team my cousin plays on, but he's on a bench. Uh, he didn't start <laughs> start this week, but I I felt like broken hearted for him because they need these that's points. That's what I was saying. They needed yes. them, especially for the 90th. Especially when it happened, especially for the offsides thing that, yeah, as you could so tell, and the was, offsides thing, for yeah, sure, yeah. was an offsides. Is that's when VAR comes help, helpful yeah. when it's on your team. Because when it was on the other team, you're like, <laughs> here's the irony: VR, VAR will save him, would save him next season, but he ain't gonna be around <laughs> for it to save him next season. He'll be possibly in the chat, maybe, maybe, like uh, like the the, the painful things that Burnley and Southampton won this weekend so they needed to like keep pace with them and they couldn't yeah because i would have kept them at two points under right but well, there are a game under though at least for they have a game less a game less over um berliner right that's it but with, with southampton they're tied game yeah. wise oh well, he was I'm pissed that guy yeah was he was fucking pissed. pissed he was like standing there looking at the refs <laughs> like talking himself out of going to jail while he's looking at the rep. Did you see the, the, the footage like after the game? And then he's like, all right, I'm gonna clap. I'm gonna make the cloud crap the, the, and I'm not gonna assault these guys. <laughs> and he was pissed, you know? He's turning like beer drinker red, like on the sidelines and then he was yelling on the sidelines and Sari was like, I don't know what Sari was pointing to, but it's like, the two weirdest white men in the premiership, Neil Warnock and Sorry. Neil Warnock. With a, with a cigarette. Are you going to give me the wrong advice now about <laughs> Neil? <laughs> no, Neil, War Neil Warnock, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a character for sure. But uh, he's a specialist in, in, in bringing teams uh, up from the championship. Well, he's, he's known for that. So. Well, he's going to have a chance to do it again. Yeah. He brought Cardiff up last season. He to brought this season, several teams up. I, I'm but not, I'm talking I'm about sure. this season. Like he was, he was with them last season, right? He brought them up. I don't think so. No. No. Man, I'm, I have a feeling you might be right. We should check. Oh, Can, yeah, could yeah. you Google that right yeah, quick yeah, for yeah. me, from Xavier? I'm afraid to do it on my computer. Wasn't Solskjaer a coach of Cardiff in the in the past? I think past he was, years right? years yeah, ago, yeah, 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 years ago. And I, and I and I got a a, a message from a f somebody that was responding. People on, on YouTube are funny. Like, they hear your argument and then pick a part of the argument that you're not talking about. So one guy was like, because I said Solskjaer would take a job with a Manu rival if Manu didn't give him the job permanently. Because there's no reason not to. Mm -hmm. You're coaching your ass off and, and uh, and they don't give you the job, and Chelsea's available, or some other team is available that has a good squad, and they're gonna spend some money. And this guy's like, Solskjaer would never take a job with a rival because he's man you through and through. But if they didn't hire you, of 
course you have to take the you job. Have you have to take the job. It's you, your job. Exactly. Exactly. And so then the person's like, no, he wouldn't. He's man you through and through. And then I responded, well, he, he coached Cardiff already. So he, yeah. And he's like, well, Cardiff's not a rival. Cardiff's, Cardiff's not a rival. Of course. But they have to, when, he, when he coached Cardiff, they played man U. Listen, and you tried to beat man U. Exactly. And so I'm pretty sure if, if Tottenham uh, throws a lot of money for you to run their podcast, you, you would have. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, but it think was, so. I think it was Neil. <laughs> He's been there for two years. Oh, so Neil brought them up. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so maybe they should go down with him and try to come back up. He brought up <laughs> uh, and he's brought other teams that went down. Like, what, what was the team cup uh, five, six years ago? He brought another team up and, and they went down automatically almost. Uh, uh, what? Crystal Palace? Or Queen's Park Rangers. I think Queen's Park. No, Queen, no Crystal Palace. The Queen's Park Rangers in 2012, I think, the, he, he went down with them. And I think, yeah. Yeah, qu he went down. He was fired from Queen's Park Rangers. I remember that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's been in the Premiership he before. Been, he's been for a while, yeah. All right. All right, so let me just run through some of the scores. So Brighton Hove versus Sam ha Southampton at Brighton Hove. Southampton won. Good win for them. Oh, yeah. You know. And this young Polish defender is really playing very, very well for him. <laughs> young <laughs> Bednarek. What's his name? Bednarek. He was All one right. of the best players on the field. Uh, it's according guy. to... Did you watch the game? He got a bonus point in a fantasy league. That means <laughs> he did great. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's how, yeah. That's the official way to judge players. <laughs> All right. Uh, Burnley versus Wolves. I thought Wolves had this, but they had to go up to Burnley, and Burnley beat them 2 nothing. Uh, this is a win that you would expect Burnley to have last season, but this season has been completely different, so it's more shocking that they would beat the team that just came up from the championship and and instead of getting beaten by them so a good two nothing win by burnley Co correct me if i'm wrong but i think they bought peter crouch yeah this transfer window yeah right? they did yeah i just read in in the new 442 peter crouch played his first game in the premier league in 2001 so that's 18 years ago he's still around unbelievable yeah i mean height is like basketball you ever seen like those seven foot basketball players that are not good but because they're seven foot Every team, after one team gets rid of him, somebody's like, "Fuck it, let's take a chance." He's seven feet, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, they, they, like you, he might be able to block something or sh score a basket close to the basket. And Crouch is like, he's already jumping height. He doesn't even <laughs> have to jump. We have to put the ball up there. The other defender has to <laughs> jump. All he has to do is head it down. So it's like, yeah, and especially when you see like. The season before when uh like we were using what's the belgium guy that manu was using fellini fellini to score mm. goals at the last minute of the game she's like yeah let's get one of those it's is it, by the way hilarious about fellini that let's uh, get a pez let's get a pez pez, he <laughs> pez, <laughs> pez header guy yeah somebody made a comment actually i saw uh, about fellini when he left united that and i didn't know that that he actually played more games for united than eric Cantona. get out of here <laughs> <laughs> really Are you did. serious? Yeah. That is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> and Carrington is a legend. <laughs> <laughs> that is bananas. Uh, Crystal Palace versus Huddersfield. They Crystal Palace won two nothing and officially, numerically, deaded, cut off the arms and legs and head of any chance of Huddersfield uh, escaping relegation they are now relegated six yeah. games left and they're relegated you know what happened the, the funny thing is absolutely absolutely but this is bananas they were relegated by a girl from peter van anaholt who relegated three teams in three seasons in a row by scoring goals in those oh, games yeah? oh, that's, that's, that's the third time in last three years that his goal relegated a team into championship oh shit the relegator over there Zaha <laughs> played good though Zaha? Yeah, I was I, I watched a little bit of the game. It was he was he was on top of it. Me and him were talking about Shakiri. You know Shakiri. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. Um I don't trust players like Shakiri and Zaha. Because they'll play good one game and not good for two games. Then they play good one game, then they'll play not, not good for This one was a good games. one. They were playing so together, a, they were like So expecting yeah. to play bad for at least All two right, more I'll keep games. That in mind. And it's like He's a former United player. And we got rid of him for a reason. <laughs> uh, and when you, that type of person, you lack, you have, that means you have the ability, but you lack the type of discipline that makes you 
that'll make you be great. And that bugs me. So I'm not a fan at all, huh? And there's got to be some reason when Liverpool are in a, cl- uh, a crunch right now, they're not using Shakiri. And I was, yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's like, is there something on going on? Did Shakiri do something in training? Is he not training well? Is, did he piss off Klopp? Because he looked like a player like with that type of character, one game good, two game bad, has the ability to get on the bad side of the team or the coach. And they're not Liverpool, who used to use Shakiri, first sub off the bench. Then they're like, let's get the tall black guy who can't even yes. really play now. But don't forget that Firmino was injured. So now Firmino is back and, and he's pretty much occupying that spot. Yeah, but they would still s- do subs and then get him in there somehow. Yeah, but if you didn't have a player with characteristics of Firmino, Shakir is probably the closest one. Where no, or- Origi is a like m- big tall guy that you can just cross the ball to him, you know, in the in the box. Yeah, but Origi, Origi besides the Everton goal, which was a complete, yeah. Origi is not giving you anything. No, no, but he's just a big body in the in the, in it, the middle. But he's not even he hasn't lived up to it, and nobody's gone back to Shakiri. You know, nobody said, all right, let's go back to Shakir. At least he got us some assists, a goal, or something. All right, that's Leicester. Your guy, Brendan Rodgers, beat Bournemouth. It was like three wins in a row or something like that. So, is that Leicester? It's a good manager. I guess. Yeah. Is he... Celtic fans hate him. Why? He won titles with him. Yeah, but he left in the middle of a treble to come to Leicester who's in the middle of the table. That's, that's insulting. <laughs> <laughs> what do they expect? Scottish League is not, <laughs> not something people, people lose their sleep over, you know? <laughs> uh, the, the, if you're a Celtic fan, <laughs> you lose sleep yeah, over yeah, it. Yeah. I know, I know. And then uh, let's go down. This, this, this result surprised me, West Ham versus Everton. You know that, that there is a big problem with Arnautovic because he's sort of starting complaining again, and and it's he, it's been a it's been a roller coaster to him the whole season long because he had some amazing games at the beginning of the season, and then he wanted to leave, and then now he wants to leave again because apparently there's a big offer from China, and and the fans another turning, offer, yeah, now from China, and now not now. But that's where the offer was from before, before the but transfer window. But now I think that another there is another one. Uh, they should so. take the money. <laughs> no, they should take fans, the money. Fans hate him right now. I said yeah. they should have taken the money yeah. the first time yeah, because he's not doing it. He's not the one winning in the games no. or getting them the results that they're. No. And he started this game and they took him out. He was injured, I guess, but you could tell he was fine. And he's just like, then he was pissed and he's trying to be animated on the bench and he's, the fans are booing him. And I, and I heard that he also kind of called some of the fans that were shitting on him online. And talking to them, asking, why do you hate me? But you've done, you know the rules of football. You're 29. You, you're in England. You know how those fans are. You wanted to be out. And I, I feel like like fans respect a player who want the right type of career. And some players, hey, if you just want money, fine. But if you just want money, people hate you if you just want money. If you don't want to play for your team, which when you're on the field sometimes, he, he's a bitcher too. He's the, he's the prototype of one game good, three games bad. I don't trust those type of guys. I, and I don't know how he is as a person, but he's being a fucking adult baby right now. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, same with international week. Uh, Austria lost both games. Did he the, play? Yeah, of course. Both ga- he scored in two goals against, I think, Israel. They lost 2-4, though. And they lost one nothing against Poland at home. So, so now th- they're at the bottom of the group, which is not a great start for European uh, championship um, qualification. Right. And they have a solid team with Alaba, with, with him, and s- you know some other players. Yeah, it's, it's a, a solid team. Like, I, would be, I would believe that they... Because if you go back to the table, like, where is West Ham? They are 11th. And where is Everton? Everton's... A point away, and it's because they just beat them, right? Yeah, it was just because yeah. before that they had forty. I, I like Everton usually loses to anybody below them in the table, and above them in the table, and you're above them, and you, I don't know that. I mean, you can lose that game, but you to Everton, but you shouldn't. Like, it, Artanovic didn't he didn't give anything that game. No, he's not giving them anything in the last three months, pretty much, yeah. and that's. 
And that's a big problem because what they're going to do, they're going to play Chicharito now. Chicharito can give you a little <laughs> bit, you know, but he's inconsistent. He's yeah. Yeah. pretty much on his way to a Major League Soccer, I would say, next year. Oh, yeah, because then, yeah, he'll... he'll, 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 he'll he's a money maker. It's a, bigger, it's a better market for him. No, right? but it's money. more respect. No, but, but like, I, I would defend Chicharito. He's not, he's not the guy who is chasing money. Like, he's, he's really trying. He's an ambitious guy. He's just getting older, you know. It's, you, you can, you How old is he now? I think he's... he's uh, let me, I'll 30 or 31, here. I would say. You think so? I think so, yeah. Oh, Definitely past his prime. 30 years old. Yeah. But he, he's an old 30, like Rooney was. Old 30. So you think he doesn't take care of himself? He does No, he does. He had injuries, bad injuries. And he's, his entire game was always based on pace and, 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 and speed. Oh, he doesn't and have that no more. He, don't, he doesn't have that. He just waits on the ball, basically, now. He <laughs> does, but not <laughs> on an elite level. And when you don't have a technical abilities uh-huh. on an elite level. To so why didn't he work on his technical he abilities? He has no technical abilities. He's, he's like a tree. And you just, just fucking you know, like a, a shrub, a small yeah, tree. You, you gotta know your limits, man. You sometimes you're just not good enough. But why? D- listen, you're playing football. It's talent. Sometimes you don't have that much yeah. talent. I don't think if 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 I need he's to see. He's an ambitious see guy. I, whenever I talk to him and, and I follow him, he's a really he really works hard, man. I, I can't. Uh, so he, he works does, hard. He does. All right, does. as long as he works hard, I ain't gonna shit on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just thought he didn't work hard. Giovanni dos Santos is another example. He's the guy who had amazing, incredible like talent. Gian- Giovanni, and he never worked hard, and now he's <laughs> he doesn't even have a club. So I'm liking the wrong people. All right, yeah. that's good to know. Yeah, he doesn't even have a club. He was the t- the most talented guy in Mexican national team oh, yeah. by far. How much time left we got, Iron? Fifteen. All right, he got right, go fired to the thing. from LA Galaxy, so you know. I think Chicharito will end up will end up uh, in, in the MLS. MLS next year. Yep. All right. Probably on the new Miami team with David Beckham. That's my guess. Cool. All right. That's, there you go. That. I was really gonna make him. So you know, using Miami. <laughs> Money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So let's go scroll back up, and then we will just. So we got Manu, sixty-one points. They number five. Chelsea. 60 points, that's number six. Wolves, they're seventh uh, with 44 points. There's a big drop off between the top six. This is a clear cut top six. And, uh, and then there's a clear cut seven to 12. Seven to 12. So, like, yeah. so there's Wolves, Leicester, Everton, Watford, who is a tough team. And, and listen, when, we, when we, we beat Watford, but they're not an easy win. You know, they. they you know they're gonna give you trouble. They they're they gonna threaten us. you. Huh? This season they they beat us this season. Yeah, I, I mean they beat they beat other teams too. They started the season pretty good, so they, you know they can beat you. And West Ham is a part of that group. And then there's another group, just a few points behind them with Bournemouth, Crystal Palace, and is Newcastle. Newcastle is for all intents and purposes safe, right? Like yeah, I they're heard say they're safe and I want one thing right. I just want to I just want to say about you know the the West Ham uh, I feel bad for uh, Manuel Pellegrini because he's not the he's not the right manager to deal with guy like Arnautovic he's a, he's a good guy he's all talent and 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 he's a great tac- tactical mind he's just not a strong he's just not a strong personality in the locker room what no, I'm I'm he's I'm agreeing. I'm he's, agreeing he's with you. I'm like, with you. get him out. Get him out. I'll tell him just him out. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Easy. I, I it's it's an easy way to fix this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a flight to China. Yeah. A ticket to China. Ticket it's to so China. easy. <laughs> yeah. It's an easy way to deal with this. And then he'll have a squad of players. Yeah. He can coach. Because Mourinho would be already like fighting with him. Publicly. Sell sell <laughs> Art, right? Yeah. You're gonna get some money. Sell Chicharito to the MLS. You're gonna get some money. You nah, you're not gonna get some money. I, you just dump him problem pretty much. Why? You can sell him. I don't. Think Isn't he under contract? He's, he's at the end of his contract. Yeah. But, but you know why you sell him? Because to the to the to the MLS because he has value to the MLS. He does. More value. So you can Huge get value. you can get money for him. You Look can. At Bella, right? They do transfers. Yeah. You know you. So then you have money from China and money from America. Two places that will pay money for players that nowhere else would Here's pay it. for these players, right? And then you could buy some players of value or one that could m- improve your team and that will listen to Pellegrini who's won the league and West Ham will be in a way better position. I, this, this is easy. And they have money. They always spend money. Like they, they, they were able yeah. to buy Felipe Anderson from Lazio Rome who is a very good player. Very good player. He was injured this weekend. Too. Yeah. And again, so yeah. So then so he's talking about West Ham, Bournemouth. 
then Bournemouth is the next drop off to Crystal Palace. And Newcastle, somebody said you only have to win like 38 games this year to be safe. And one of the players on Newcastle was like, we just need three more points. And Benitez was like, yeah, we need three more, but to make it sure, make 40-42. And there's six games left. And yeah. look, look, at, look at one thing that's, that comes to mind. when you Fulham and, and Huddersfield are relegated. So the only team now... Well, is Fulham Cardiff. is not officially relegated, bro. Yeah, I mean, they will be next week. But, uh, <laughs> but look at Cardiff. Next week, the games, the games are... So let's see the games that's coming no, no, up. But look at Cardiff, one thing. 28 score goals in 31 games you know it, it's very unfortunate what happened with Salah but the fact is they have not a s they don't have a single striker it's 28 goals scored in 31 games not even a goal per game you, you so I'm confident <laughs> they will not they will not move up you know pretty confident they will not move up those yeah. are three weak it, it wasn't like that in the last couple of years but it's definitely like that this season there are clearly three teams much worse than anybody else. Well, Wednesday, you guys play Crystal Palace. You think you got them? Yes. In your new stadium? Yes. You think you got them in yeah. your new stadium? So that's a big game just because you can't afford to d drop points and because it's in your new stadium. You guys are finally going to have a home. The fans are going to be happy. I'm not as confident about you guys at against Wolves, though. No, I'm not either. <laughs> but yeah. I'm only confident because we lost to them already mm -hmm. and we know what their trick is. So then... Solskjaer can make adjustments for they're it. They tough. can't. They can't. They're tough. They beat everybody. They everybody in the league, this right? Year, including City, which everybody. is which is funny because they did what Burnley did last year. You know, I'm just hoping that Saha does what you said and fucks up this game. If he played good, if he, if he played good, yep. TPA well, the problem is that he's on the transfer target for Tottenham, so he 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 will he will maybe try to make an impression. Well, that would be know. one of your mistakes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I hope no, he's, he's a transfer and I hope target. he suckers you guys in. <laughs> 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 so you hope for a little loyalty to United. Yeah, help okay. us out. Uh, Liverpool's play Southampton, and that's a tricky game for Liverpool. That's a tricky game for them. Because I mean, Southampton all of them seem to be tricky. All of them seem to be tricky because no. Liverpool. No, City against Cardiff City at at City at Man City is not a tricky game at all. No. <laughs> and <laughs> Arsenal versus Everton, can Arsenal drop points there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Chelsea against West Ham can drop points, and I think they will. I hope for well. Chelsea's playing Brighton Hove first. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they'll drop points on this one, but I think they'll drop against West Ham. All right. We're just West we're Ham just going by the next game. Yeah. How, how do you jump in ahead to? Other games Be because <laughs> because it's pretty much you know like in midweek and then then the weekend so it's like <laughs> two games hilarious. week. I'm trying to see who else got who. I mean, I hope West Ham beats Chelsea or takes points. And I'm just going down further. Crystal Palace, Newcastle versus Crystal Palace. So you think it'll be Man City on top? By the uh, end of the by weekend. the end of the we have well the end of this week. Of course, yeah. They have Cardiff. So you talk, you're talking uh, about after the midweek games and after the weekend, or just after the midweek. They only play weekend, I think. City. Oh, okay. Yeah. So their game, let me see. City's game is against Cardiff on April third. They're playing Wednesday. Yeah. They, no, they play. They're playing Wednesday. Yeah, you're right. Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, they play Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. True. And then Friday is Liverpool. And Friday is Liverpool. And I think they'll drop points. This, this is like a, a one of those auto races, you know what I'm saying, where the track is like like that. So say say this is Liverpool and this is Chelsea. When when the turn is on this side of the track, like Liverpool has a lead, but when the turn is on that side of the track, Chelsea has a lead. Yeah. So until till the end of the season. But you know what? It might be a very unpopular voice because I know that Liverpool, a lot of Liverpool fans listen to this podcast. But uh, do they? From, from yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's because <laughs> based right. on the comments. But I would say I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. It might look like that, and we uh, unfortunately Hugo Lloris helped the case. But I still think it's City's title to lose. I think City will win it. I, I mean, th they I have the title, so it is their title to lose. Yeah. No, I, I think they're just better team. They're just a better team. Somebody else, somebody else I respect thought thinks that Liverpool is a better team, but I do think Man City is a better team. I just hope somehow Liverpool could pull pull this off. I don't need Man City winning the quadruple. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. 
And Liverpool hasn't won in no, a they're not gonna. They're not going to win the quadruple because yeah. they played Tottenham in the Champions League. So they're not going to win the quadruple. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what do you want to plug? Anything? Uh, <laughs> uh, you, can, you can be out of here on time. We're doing a tinfoil on, uh, at the Comedy Store on Tuesday. Other than that. 10-4? Yeah. Tinfoil. What's that? Uh, the podcast with Sam. Okay. We'll do a podcast with him, but we're going to do a live one at the Comedy Store with Alex Jones and Eddie Bravo. Oh, oh wow. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Wow. yeah that's going to be crazy. What room? Main room? I think so. Yeah. So what day? Uh, Tuesday. Next week. And what time? I think nine o'clock. I might be wrong. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be Alex crazy. Alex Jones is going to be there? Yeah. Who's the bigger conspiracy theorist, Alex Jones or Eddie Bravo? I'm going to go with Alex Jones. Yeah, nobody's a bigger no conspiracy theorist. No one yells theorist. louder than him. Yeah. <laughs> Does he follow soccer, Alex Jones or not? I don't think so. <laughs> ask him. It's, it's, I'll ask him. You can soccer's, invite him to, the, to soccer's this podcast. A, soccer's a real <laughs> concept. He does not follow <laughs> real concepts. But what if he brings conspiracy theories regarding soccer? That would be an interesting podcast to listen to. Yeah. I mean, I only, I only want facts, baby. I, I don't, you know, I like... I like the idea of Alex Jones, but it's, it's a little off the rails right now. Yeah. Like, if he, if, even if he's saying something that makes sense, he says too much crazy shit. That fucks it all to, up. It fucks it all yep. up. And that's not my fault. That's not my fault. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's what he chose. You got anything you want to plug? Sure. So, yeah. So, 442 here. Uh, new 442. My interview with Frank DeBoer. Show them your names. Don't, don't, don't yeah. nobody can see this. This looks like I forged it for you. Frank the Boar. Where's your name at? Right here. D- I mean, you can, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> is this how you show your project? Yeah, right sideways? Here. Can people? <laughs> sideways. Towards, what? Is, is your name written sideways? Yeah. Where's your name? Right here. Right where? Oh, it is sideways. Sure. Yeah. All right. So he talks also about his uh, his short uh, stint at the Crystal Palace uh, when why it didn't work. Uh, I'll just quote one thing because it's interesting. Uh, it's it's not just about the Palace, but in in English Premier League in in general. He said something like that. So how do you reflect on your short reign managing Crystal Palace? It was a negative experience for me, but I learned from it. They played relegation football for four years, but they wanted to change philosophy and attack. You need time for that. They wanted to be like Southampton, who avoided relegation. They played positive football the following season and finished eighth. Those were the expectations, and I'm sure that out if I had enough time, I would have built a stellar team. Unfortunately, some English teams are worried about losing 100 million from television rights, and they panic. So I was fired. When the Southampton team he's talking about, was that the Pochettino Southampton team? Right before Pochettino, Roger Atkins team. And then Pochettino took it over, yeah, to the next level. Wh- where did Pochettino finish with that team? I think he, f- he finished fifth or sixth, fifth or sixth. And what happened know. to Atkins? They I fired? S- they fired him because he was like up and down. He, he was... He finished eighth and they say he's up and down? Yeah, but then he, I think he started next season slow. Something, something like that happened. No, oh, so Pochettino took out. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Pochettino made them like really very, very strong. Team. All right, that's two minutes. Let me just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Ian Edwards Comic, Instagram at Ian Edwards Comic. Uh, my album 100% Half Ass is available on Spotify, CD Baby, iTunes, and other places. And uh, follow me, and I'll let you know when my shows are out. I'll be at the Comedy Store, Laugh Factory this week. Thank you all. Let's be out. Aaron, everybody say what's up to Aaron. Good looking out, brother. Appreciate it. And uh, one.